In this video, I'll show you how to create and purchase label through Amazon Seller Central or another way with Shipping Easy when you fulfill orders uh, yourself or through a 3PL and you need to send them the labels. That's for FBM orders and offers. So if you're stuck with some of your products and have limitations and doing FBM, let me show you how you create and purchase the label. Hi, this is Tomer from SourcingMonster.com where I share with you videos, updates and tutorials about Amazon FBA and e-commerce and everything that I share with you here is completely free. So please do me a favor and support my hard work by liking this video, sharing it with a friend and subscribing to the channel and all links that I'm going to mention in this video will be down below in the description section. Let's start. Okay, before we start again, this uh, something that you are going to purchase the label in case you're doing FBM. In my scenario, why I'm doing FBM, FBM, it's because I have limitations on this account. This is a toys account and uh, an account that I don't really pay enough attention or time. Uh, and my limits are like 1500 units. And uh, I already have 2000 units by the warehouse and one of the ASINs we got uh you know uh out of stock so i had to create an fbm offer because i have stock here and i can fulfill it myself and uh basically we are fulfilling like uh like 30 40 orders a day this is some of the labels uh just uh you know from all over from etsy this is like you know uh save us time and money doing it with 3pl but definitely you can do it with a 3pl so i do have two orders here that i have to ship so very simple from the dashboard you just click on ship orders uh, and, and one thing that is very important with fbm in order to keep your account health very good and not getting into troubles i definitely suggest that you install the amazon seller central app and after you install it, make sure that you get notifications. So when a sale come in, you get a notification and you go and create the label right away. Again, I had issues with it in the past and I don't, I, I want, just want to create it as soon as possible to prevent mistakes or issues with my account health. Um, uh, we have you two, two, two unshipped it says, but one pending. So I guess it's two total one pending so this one that is pending um i'm not sure what, what's going on with it but this is weird it should show two anyway let me show you how you do it you can either select a couple of them in one uh, shot or just click buy shipping let's do buy shipping and it will give you the price so here you would either need to add new package the first time and put the weight and then you get the rates you can do delivery confirmation or with the signature confirmation um, you see that the shipping method you can change it you can choose some other type of service let's say you want to do it fedex overnight or ups or whatever these are the carriers that uh, uh, amazon working with but let's say the rates here are not that good uh, what you can do and also fulfill it from a different location is to connect it to a program. I use Shipping Easy, but there are ShipStation, there are a couple of them. But Shipping Easy, it's, their subscription is like $30 and it's doing everything. You can connect multiple stores. I'll show you in a moment. Let me log in. And let's try to locate this order as well, okay? So this is the order ending with uh, 6616, right? So 6616, as you can see, it's showing here as well. Let's click on it and see what is the uh, the price using shipping is easy. So two pounds, and um, and it doesn't really give me. Uh, oh, I first have to choose the service. So let's do priority mail for two pounds. Now the packaging. It want me to do like a package. So let's do a large flat rate box, and it's twenty dollars. So it's not good large envelope flat $11 this is like too much so let's try to do it like uh, let's see what kind of label is this this is priority mail legal flat rate envelope so priority mail large it doesn't really give me any anything so let's do 
9 by 5 by 4. 9, 5, 4. So we didn't change the price. Sometimes it's giving you a better rate. So for me here, it doesn't really make sense to do it. So let's go and purchase the label from Amazon. So as you can see, it wants me to print like two pages. What I will do is uh, custom for the pages. One page only, I don't need the other page. Let's print it out. And as you can see, we have the label. What I like to do to prevent confusions, and this is something that we do, I don't do myself this process. So this process is done automatically, and then I'm getting an email from someone in my team member with all the labels. We print them out and we write on the back of each label what product is that, so it's easy to fulfill it. Boy. And this is something that I don't like doing, but on Q4, especially now and last year as well, with the limitations, I pretty much do it. I get dirty with my hands and do this uh, work even though it's not that fun and time consuming, but it's money, you know, you, you have to do the things that you have to do. Obviously, it's not me going and preparing them and shipping them. I have someone who's doing it, but you can do it yourself. Um, that's it for this video. Uh, definitely check Shipping Easy. You can connect here all your stores. Have your two Amazon uh, stores, two Etsy stores, eBay, Shopify, and the Walmart store. They are all connected here. So when we get orders that we have to fulfill ourselves, we're using this. And happy Q4. Good luck. Hope you won't need to be in that situation. But if you are, then definitely use it. Now, please, my friends, do me a favor and share this video with other people that might benefit from this video. It will help me grow the channel and I will really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.